The emergence of the Sufyani and Yamani in one day. A misconception has been raised saying, the Sufyani and Yamani emerge in one day. You say that the Yamani already appeared in 1999 and his name is Sayyid Ahmed al Hassan. Where is the Sufyani then if they emerge together in one day? There are two ways to answer this question. One, use logic and reason. Two, look at the other hadiths to know what's going on. Number one, use logic and reason. In order for the Yamani to gather a few hundred followers and make them believe in him, it is not logical that this can be done in one day. It never worked with the Prophet Muhammad before the Battle of Badr. How can it work with the Yamani? The Prophet needed years to make people believe in his divine message before they got committed to merge with him in the Battle of Badr. Not a day, but years. So the Yamani and Sufyani emerge in one day to fight, but both of them will have an appearance beforehand in order to gather their followers. This hadith proves that the Yamani has an appearance before the emergence. Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, says, before the Sufyani is an Egyptian and a Yamani. Now the other way to respond to this misconception is to look at the other hadiths to know what's going on. The hadith about the Yamani and Sufyani emerging in one day. We should also look at other hadiths to know the full story. Imam Sada peace be upon him said the Sufyani and Qa'im in one year. So the Sufyani and Qa'im in one year. Imam al baqir peace be upon him said the Sufyani, the Yamani and Khurasani will emerge in one year, one month and one day. Imam Sada peace be upon him says the Sufyani is inevitable, must happen, and his emergence is in Rajab. The beginning of his emergence until the end is 15 months. Six months he will fight, and if he conquers the five regions, he will rule for nine months. He will not increase a day of ruling. And also another hadith that talks about the emergence of the Qa'im. Imam al-Baghra, peace be upon him, says, The Qa'im will emerge on a Saturday, on the day of Ashura, the day Hussein al Hussein was killed. Now we have to pay attention to something after reading the hadiths of Ahl al-Bayt, peace be upon them. Rajab is the month when the Sufyani will emerge. Muharram is the month when the Qa'im, peace be upon him, will emerge, according to the hadith that we just read. And the hadith of Ahl al-Bayt, which says that the Qa'im and the Sufyani in one year one year is 12 months and here when we look at the months month number one to number six is the time period when the Sufyani will fight and month number seven to fifteen is the time period when the Sufyani will rule or conquer the five regions which are Qumsurin, Damascus, Jordan Palestine and Homs. Now, after reading the hadith which says Qa'im and Sufyani in one year, now one year is 12 months. We count from the beginning of the emergence of the Qa'im, which is Muharram, and count even after Ramadan, because Ramadan is the ninth month, the last month of the Sufyani ruling. That's the end of the Sufyani's emergence. So that's nine months. So how can we reconcile this issue? Because it says the Qa'im and the Sufyani one year. But from Muharram, which is the emergence or the time of the emergence of the Qa'im, and counting months after Muharram, we stop at the ninth month, which is the end of the Sufyani's emergence. And nine months is not one year which contradicts the hadith that says the Qa'im and Sufyani in one year. So how can we reconcile this issue? As we said in the very beginning, that we have to look at the other hadiths to know what's going on. When we look at the hadiths, Imam Sada, peace be upon him, says, if the Sufyani emerges, come to us, come to us, come to us. And it is from the inevitable, Wasa'l Shia, volume 15, page 52. So, as soon as when the Sufyani emerges, which is Rajab, 
Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, says, Come to us. Now, where will the Shias go in Rajab? We know that in the Hadith of Ahlul Bayt, the Yamani is the most guided banner, and if he emerges, go to him. This is in Ghaybat al Numani, page 264. So the Yamani emerges in Rajab. Alongside the, the Yamani, you have also the signs like Khurasani and Sufyani. So Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon him, say that you go to the Yamani. He is the most guided banner. So when Rajab comes, the Sufyani emerges and Imam Sada says, come to us, come to us, come to us. And also there is another hadith which, which says from Imam Sada, peace be upon him, if the Sufyani emerges, he will send an army to us and to you. And then he says, if that happens, Come to us on every difficult or easy ride. Ghaybat al numani page 317-318. So again, Imam Sada says that if the Sufyani emerges, come to us on every difficult on or easy ride. Another hadith from Imam Sada, peace be upon him. This is in Al-Kafi, volume 8, page 264. He says, if it was Rajab, come by the name of Allah. And if you want to delay it, to Sha'ban, it's not a problem. And if you love to fast with your family, which is Ramadan, that is better for you. And the Suf and the sign of the Sufyani is enough. So the sign of the Sufyani, when does it happen? It happens in Rajab. And in Rajab, what did Imam Sada say? He said, come to us. He said it three times. And Shaykh al majlisi in Bihar al Anwar, volume 52, page 302, he says about the hadith from Imam Sada which says, If it was Rajab, come by the name of Allah. He says, it apparently says that the Qa'im will emerge in Rajab. And so we know that from the hadith of Ahl Bayt that the Qa'im will emerge in Muharram. So we come to the conclusion now in that this Qa'im that will emerge in Rajab as what Imam al-Baqir says, the Qa'im and Sufyani in one year, this Qa'im can't be Muhammad ibn al-Hassan, the 12th Imam, peace be upon him. Because the 12th Imam, he will rise in Muharram. But Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, say that when the Sufyani emerges, which is in Rajab, they said, come to us, come to us, come to us. But where will the Shias go in Rajab? Where the Imams, peace be upon them, we know that they have died except for Imam al Mahdi, peace be upon him. And Imam al Mahdi emerges in Muharram. And in Rajab, who is that man who is from Ahlul Bayt, in which Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, told us to go to him, whereby they even said, Come to us, come to us, come to us. So, who is that man that people have to go to in Rajab? other than the Yamani. The Yamani, we are obligated to emerge to him and fight alongside him and support him, support his call. In the Hadith, it mentions that, that there is no banner more guided than the banner of the Yamani. Whoever turns away from him is from the people of hell. So in Rajab, when the Yamani emerges, we have to go to him. So... This is as clear as the sun. That this matter is as clear as the sun as what Imam Sada, peace be upon him, said. That there is a man who we have to go to. Now for Muharram, it doesn't have to be the Muharram after uh, Rajab when the Sufyani emerges to rule. It could be the, the Muharram that, that is in the next year. So it doesn't have to be in that same year in which Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, he emerges. It could be the next year. So for Rajab, that is when the Sufyani emerges and it's a clear sign. Imam al says, and the sign of the Sufyani is enough for you. Sign for what? Sign for the Yamani. 
sign for this man who is from Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, that we are commanded to, to go to him and support him. If we don't support him, we are not supporting Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him. 